Hey everyone, this is Lawrence Watkins with the Black Financial Channel and welcome to the next installment of the FJT5. Uh, so that's the Financial Juneteenth 5, where I go over the five most interesting uh, business articles related to uh, Black people in the news today. Uh, this is a trial run. Uh, this is the second time I've done this. So let me know if you all like this uh, new format uh, to deliver uh, high quality uh, import and important news to uh, everyone who is uh, watching today. Uh, so let's get started with uh, number one. So uh, the big theme of today the is uh, the corporate dollars continue to flow. So the first article that I see here or that I have up on the screen is that MasterCard ple pledges $500 million to help close the racial wealth gap and opportunity gap for black communities across America. Uh, so it looks like uh, after reading the article that they're going to, uh, this is the actual press release, they're going to be doing test pilot programs uh, across seven different cities, so ex expanding city programs to support Black communities. Um, and this is on projects include Atlanta, Los Angeles, and New York. But I think they have a uh, tool, or excuse me, have a uh, plan to expand to seven cities. I know that they are um, also connecting with the, uh, excuse me, the National Urban League to expand uh, beyond a little bit more um, and to actually deliver services to black folk in these particular areas as well. But it's a $500 million fund that is going to be deployed over a five year period. So uh, I'll post a link to this uh, video, excuse me, this article, and this also this intro video as well for you all to actually see this. Uh, on that same note, uh, Baker Botts, which I believe is a law firm in official Black Wall Street, uh, so they are having, I guess, a joint venture um, or a partnership to provide, provide $10 million in legal services to support Black entrepreneurship. Um, uh, so here we go. So embarking on the path of entrepreneurship, uh, yeah, one of the most expensive costs are legal expenses and um, official Black Wall Street, which is an organization, um, and then this uh, law firm are uh, coming together to actually make that happen. This is from Black Enterprise, and also I believe Baker Bot's Twitter, or is this Black Wall Street? Yeah, Baker Bot's Twitter um, is uh, talking about it as well. So if you wanna get some of that money, um, please visit their site in this article to figure out how to do so. The next article um, on this theme of uh, corporations and really, uh, I guess, you know, at least temporarily, you know, allyship in terms of uh, corporations providing the cash. But then also uh, this article talks about the massive new effort to get minorities on corporate boards. Uh, so I recently saw an interview, or excuse me, um, on Bloomberg, yeah, Bloomberg Newsweek, I believe it was, uh, with uh, John Rogers. It was on a uh, Bloomberg Newsweek podcast, and he was talking about um, the initiative to, I guess, get more Black board members. So this is important because the boards are the, actually the people who really and truly run the company, um, who, who run the company. So the executive, uh, the board tells the executive you know, to what to actually do and to actually hold that executive and the CEO accountable. Uh, so uh, this article is talking about a guy by the name of Brian St uh, Stafford, who owns, um, I guess, a Zoom for corporations kind of type of thing. Um, where uh, corporations use his software, I believe, $19,000 uses software to host board meetings and convey important company information like financial projections, that type of thing. Uh, but he's using the platform that he's built with these 19,000 companies to create a list, I believe, a, a list of uh, qualified minority board candidates uh, to represent these uh, companies, uh, you know, to their shareholders and investors. Uh, so that's an interesting article from Forbes that you should check out. The next is from the Los Angeles Business Journal. Uh, so this is a look at the Cooperative Investment Fund. Um, yeah, so I believe this is this article is written by one of the leaders of this uh, particular uh, particular fund. Uh, but it's going to be I have the website up right here. So here it is, bcifund.org is in Los Angeles, uh, impacting the Black community. They have a cool video right there. Uh, so what they want to accomplish is, you know, to raise a $500,000 fund uh, and $1.2 million assets being generated uh, for Southern Cal California's Black community. Uh, so they have uh, quite a few great testimonials on here, and they talk uh, extensively about their organization. So I think that's an article you should look at. 
The next is actually a podcast from uh, Rocketship.fm. Uh, the podcast, I believe, is called Product Journeys, though. Um, uh, or no, it is called Rocketship.fm, excuse me. Uh, one of their podcasts is Product Journeys. And this is about an organization called Black Product Managers. So for those who are in the tech space uh, and who, well, not even just tech, but I guess it's mainly tech in this particular instance. Uh, but if you're a product manager, so that means you are tasked with uh, the actual management and running of a particular product uh, for a company, um, or you have your own company. And if you have your own company, you, by default, you're going to be the product manager, um, at least in the very beginning. Uh, this podcast is for you. So it's talking about the Black Product Managers Network, uh, BPM, that has been created. Uh, and it was created out, out of just a random social interaction. Um, and uh, yeah, now a lot of Black people in Silicon Valley and other places are coming together um, and talking about their struggles and talking about you know, how to build uh, new products and new things uh, to help them in their individual careers, but then also to um, you know, build community in, outside of Silicon Valley to uh, help you know, Black people as a whole. So check out blackproductmanagers.com um, and uh, also the podcast episode here. It's about 30 minutes long. Uh, so as a bonus, uh, I have a six uh, or uh, the sixth uh, article, and this is from The Economist. So HBCUs are going mainstream right now. So why is interest growing in America's black colleges, universities? Uh, it talks about the death of you know, George Floyd, Donald Trump. Uh, truthfully, a lot of the stuff that is mentioned in this article is stuff that we already know about as you know, the Black Financial Channel and the people who follow us. Uh, but it's interesting to see this concept going mainstream uh, from The Economist, who has one of the you know, largest circulations in terms, of, uh, in terms of news worldwide. Uh, so please make sure that you uh, check out this article as well. So uh, that's about it. I hope everyone enjoyed this uh, version of FJT5. Please make sure you press the thumbs up button and also give me uh, comments, suggestions in terms of what to improve and what you like about this segment. So like I said, this is just a, just a trial run. If you all like it, uh, we'll continue to do it. If not, uh, we'll go on to the next idea. All right, everyone, have a good day. Talk to you soon. Bye-bye.